Hi, I'm Rob, Head of Customer Support. In this video, we're going to be doing two things. The first is creating a template. Then we're going to be creating a document from that template. This rapid document creation process is what you'll be doing 90% of the time inside Best Proposals. So let's do it. So to start creating your template, head over to Templates, then click All Templates. This is where all of your saved templates are going to be located. From here, you've got three options when it comes to creating a template inside your account. The first couple of options are in the top right. If you click Create Template, you'll see either From Scratch or Import Word Doc. Creating from scratch is pretty straightforward if you already know your way around the editor. And if you want to know more about importing a Word doc, you can watch our video explaining that process. The third option is using one of our pre-made templates. Hopefully, you've selected some templates when signing up for your trial. So you may have a few listed here already. If not, you can just click Marketplace in the top right, and you can explore our pre-made templates and add any to your account that look like they'll work for you. Don't worry too much if we don't have a template that fits exactly with what you're offering. Find one you like the look of, click Get This, and I'll show you how to adapt any of our templates to suit what you need. So head back to All Templates and click the Edit icon on the right-hand side of the template that you want to work with. You'll then be taken to the Template Editor. Firstly, you may want to rename your template. To access the template settings, click the Settings cog in the top right of the editor. Here you'll be able to rename your template, assign a document type and also change the viewing mode. So let's go through this template and start making it look a bit more on brand. We can see this template has certain colours for different types of blocks. You've got your header blocks, which are light green. So if we wanted to change all those blocks to a different colour, we can hover over any of those blocks, click Settings, then in the right hand sidebar, click the Background tab. You'll then be able to change the colour of that block, but before you confirm, turn on the Apply to all with same colour checkbox. You can also do the same with the filters, if you have any. Then go ahead and click save and preview down the bottom and you'll see all the blocks that were previously green have now changed to our branded blue. Next, we're gonna edit some of our imagery. We've made it very quick and easy to swap out full width images. So let's say we want to make this image a little more relevant to what we're offering. You can just hover over that image until the toolbar appears. Click the settings icon, then in the right hand sidebar, select from any of the source options here. In this case, we're gonna swap out this image using our Pexels integration. We'll search for the image that we want, Select it, then click the Crop tab. Drag the little sliders to get the sort of crop that we want and then click Save and Preview. Just a quick one, if you find yourself getting a little bit stuck and you need a nudge in the right direction, look out for the live chat icon in the bottom right hand side of your screen and we'll be more than happy to help you in any way we can. Once you've gone through and updated your blocks and images, you may find that you need to add a new block to your template. You can do this by clicking the plus icon located between each block and you'll see a bunch of options for different types of blocks. Starting on the left, you've got your content blocks. These will make up the majority of your templates as they allow you to add your text, format it to see your needs and you can even add image or video backgrounds to add that extra design flair. Next, you've got your full width images. We've already swapped out one of these earlier. Then you've got our video blocks, which you can use to embed videos hosted from YouTube, Vimeo or Wistia. We've then got our pricing blocks, which we'll go into more detail in another video. Almost all of our pre-built templates have a pricing block built in, which you can edit with your own pricing. Then we have our digital signature block, which your clients will use to sign your documents. You only need one of these in your template, as you'll add the signers later. At the end, you've got the content library, which is used for your saved blocks, as well as some of our own pre-built blocks, which you can use. You can also add new sections on the left-hand sidebar by clicking the plus icon. Let's say you wanted to add a team page. You have the option of a blank section to create one yourself, or we have some pre-made ones ready to go. Just click Content Library, then Pre-Made Sections, then click Our Team. Then you can select the design that you like, click Add Page, and that will be imported directly into your template for you to edit. You may find you need to do a bit of shuffling around with your blocks. To reorder them, simply hover over any block you want to move and then click the up or down arrows to move it into position. If you're trying to make certain blocks match up with the correct section on the left, just make sure that block is at the top of that section. The best way to identify this is to look out for the dotted lines separating your sections. You'll also have these little info tags on the right which will confirm which section those blocks are linked to. You can also reshuffle any of your sections in the sidebar. Just hover over the right hand side of the section you want to move, then drag and drop it to get the order you need. So work your way through the template and make any adjustments required, and once you're happy with your template, click save and exit. 
Now there's two ways you can create a document from a template. You can click the new document button on the left hand sidebar, or if you're already in templates, you can simply click the use this template button and it will create a document from that template to save you selecting it later on. That's it. If you want to know more about setting up your document and sending it out, you can see that in the next video.